Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. This is going to be a collective message, so if you've clicked on it, chances are there's something here um, that can help you with your situation um, that you currently find yourself in with um, an ex. So this is a past person, a past lover, um, someone that maybe you've recently ended things with or fairly long ago. Um, and it's going to be a reading to see what they're thinking and feeling and sort of what's going on with their kind of energy. So um, as I said, oftentimes when, when these messages um, pop up on our screen, oftentimes um, they do contain within them something that we need to hear or something that would be helpful for us um, in understanding a, a current situation. So I'll use a couple of decks and we'll see what comes up. Uh, in regards to an ex. So this, this reading can be for any sign watching. Um, and, and please keep an open mind when addressing these messages. Okay, so straight away on the right-hand side, maybe this is more for those, I sort of want to read the cards that the right-hand side is the recent past and the left-hand side is more like an older ex. Um, so there's very different energy that's coming up on both sides, but um, I'm going to pull out some more clarifiers on each side. Okay, so the card that sort of splits in the middle is the Four of Swords. So this is definitely, regardless if this is an ex from your recent past or an ex from long ago, the Four of Swords shows that straight away that this person is still thinking about you. Um, either subconsciously or consciously. With the Four of Swords, I get it's a more subconscious energy. So it's subconscious thoughts and feelings towards you still exist. You still do cross their mind. Um, I don't know if it's in, uh, strong enough for them to act and, and message you or reach out or tell you they want you back. It may not be, but this is sort of the dividing card that we have here. And this is that Four of Swords. Um, they wanted a break. They wanted to end things. So they're still going through those sorts of emotions. So that's that, that card can sort of apply to both. Um, I'm going to look at first the cards on this hand, uh, on this side, which is the Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. And this is for an ex that has, um, that you have split with a long time ago. So this could be years or decades. Okay. This is what we're seeing. And, and the clarifying cards, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords reversed. Um, Okay, so to get their overall energy, the Four of Saw, the Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, they may have recently had an epiphany about you. The number four has come up twice around them, so this may have happened. This may have happened in the last four days, maybe four weeks. Um, it could even be four years, fourteen months. Um, so there's the epiphany that we have here. There's this emotional realization you've popped into their mind. Now, I think it may be like a sign from the universe or they sort of came across something that they feel is a sign from above, whether they believe in God or um, the universe per se or whatever it is. They may have some sort of spiritual epiphany about you or they may, this may have happened. This may have happened fairly recently for them. But with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, right now they're choosing not to act. Okay, They're choosing to stand still. Um... But I get with the Knight of Pentacles, this is when we don't move forward. So I get that this person may not necessarily have moved forward from you completely. So there may still be some residual feelings or some constant thoughts or feelings that cross this person's mind about you. But they're not in an energy where they want to reveal that um, currently uh, because the Four of Pentacles is present. So it would indicate that this person is um, feeling closed off about it. So they could either be a in denial about their feelings, trying to deny or suppress, um, but they're still clinging or they're still holding on. And that's that's evident in the way he sort of um, holds the pentacles. It's like he's clinging to it. He doesn't look like he's about to move. He looks pretty comfortable there. So um, there's still something that they cling on to, whether it's hope, 
um, or whether it's thinking about the two of you being together again in the future, there's still something here, um, something that exists on their side, at least, um, with the Four of Pentacles. But Pentacles are action cards, and if this person's actions are closed off and that at a standstill, it indicates they're not taking action. Um, we've got clarifiers, which would hopefully let us know why. Um, the King of Pentacles, there could be that this person is in a, rom a serious romantic connection with another person. It may be with a Taurus. Now, Taurus energy around them as a clarifier could indicate they're very, very stubborn or that they have a new connection that things seem to be going pretty serious with and they don't want to sort of abandon that. If that's the case, and this is from years ago, it's flourishing for them and it's, it's, you know, it's becoming more serious and they're getting heavily involved in that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they've wiped you from their memory, from their mind, from their heart. You know, it's, it's very unlikely that they've done that completely. But as, as a clarifier, especially looking at the Eight of Pentacles, um, this person may feel like they finally, they're, they're finally at a place somehow with the Eight of Pentacles where they can be their genuine self. You know, they, they, they've got the flowers here, so things are in bloom. Maybe they're finally coming to a good place where they're having very fond uh, or nostalgic thoughts or memories about you, and, uh, and that's very sweet. Um, the Five of Swords reverse. Normally, the Five of Swords is about disruption. Um, it can be about th third-party situations. So this may be more for those that had an ex that cheated uh, or if your relationship with this person was somehow affected by another person. This could very, like, um, if they weren't cheating, they might have met someone straight after you. Um, to see that reversed, it could indicate that that third party is no longer in their life. So that person is no longer someone they are committed to or uh, sleep with or engage with. If there was sort of a person or a figure that caused disruption in the relationship, the Five of Swords reversed may indicate um, for some of you that that person has been removed from your ex's life and then they, they've, they've either learned their lesson with them um, because they've taken the bull by the horns with the King of Pentacles energy here. Um, but it's very likely that there's, for a lot of you, there's still this, this person still feels romantic energy for you because the Taurus is coming up. Um, now, it may be more for those that have dealt with a Taurian or someone who does have um, a lot of Taurus energy um, in their natal birth chart. So maybe, maybe it could be them. Um, okay, so for those that have disconnected from an ex in the recent, maybe in the last year or two, last few months, last few weeks, last few days, um, the overall energy for them is the Knight of Cups, the Fall, and the Six. So straight away, it could indicate that this person is embarrassed or they acted foolish or even immature. Um, maybe more if you have a family with this person. But with the Six of Cups in the Fool card, there is something that they... I get emotional immaturity because the Fool acts without consequences and he's oftentimes impulsive. So your ex, whether it be a he or a she, might have felt very impulsive. Um, and I do want to mention uh, the Fool has come up again here. So there's like a double energy Fool. The Fool came up as a clarifier and we also have the Emperor. Uh, so the, the signs that have come up next to this person are Aries. Aries has come up three times. Now, if this person is in an Aries energy, if this ex is in an Aries energy, they're explosive, they're sensitive, um, they're angry. There's still a lot of anger and uh, there's still a lot of residual anger that this person is holding on to. The fool is competitive, the emperor is competitive, so they might even be trying to compete with you trying to be like, oh, maybe show you up and, and say, well, this is what you lost, or you know what, I'm going to get with someone new just to prove a point. You know, the emperor goes and, and does things. But look, that's more of a clarifier. I uh, don't want to get too carried away. I want to look at the overall energy. Um, and the Knight of Cups is here, so they still, on some emotional level, they still care or they still think about you. Now, the Knight can represent an emotional offer, um, so for some of you, this this person is coming back and they could be missing you. They might reach out with some sort of emotional offer to, to see you or um, to tell you they miss you uh, because a chariot is here as a clarifier, but it's cancer energy. So this may be an Aries or a cancer X uh, or the um, 
if they've got cancer energy, then it could indicate that they're missing you, okay? They're nostalgic about you in this regard. Um, but the Knight of Cups, there is an offer coming. It may come very impulsively and it's not very well thought through. Um, these cards are very contradictory because the knight is a very is is a very sensitive person. Yet the fool is is just very ignorant and non considerate. So maybe there is an element of confusion here. Um, the six of cups, they may be in an early stage of a new romance. For some of you, it's likely that this person um, has met someone maybe fairly recently. Uh, if it's not the case, I feel with the Six of Cups, this points to the past. So for some of you, this person has gone back to their, their another ex. So it may not necessarily be you. It could be someone else. So you may hear of this person hooking up with someone from their past, maybe. Um, but I think most, most strongly to me, um, it's pointing to an immaturity because the children are immature. So there might be a lesson that this person has to learn about you. Um, or they have to learn, but they can only learn it when they're not with you, maybe. Um, but let's look at the clarifying energy. So the Emperor, the Chariot, Reverse, the Fool. So the Emperor is the only one reversed. They're in an Aries kind of energy. They may be dealing with an Aries, maybe. Um, but the Emperor shows that they think right now that they've made the right decision. Um, or they feel they have more power where the relationship stands at this time. At this time, so they feel like they may have the upper hand, um, but they feel quite powerful. And the emperor is that they're all about ego, so their ego is letting them do, or their ego is uh, driving them to do different things. Um, and they may be thinking it's helping, but sometimes the ego can make us do very. Um, you know, very, very impulsive, very damaging things or can say damaging things because the emperor thinks, this person thinks they're on top. So they've got maybe this this bit of self-righteous energy about them. Um, they want to do what they want to do with the emperor. The emperor is, is a very self-absorbed energy. So right now they're doing what's best for them and no one is going to tell them otherwise. They're just in this like narrow-minded um, energy. They do have the chariot is reversed, the fool is reversed. So, I mean, the fool can represent new beginnings and it is a clarifier. So for some of you, this person is adamant that they don't want to date around or they don't want to begin something new, either with you or with someone uh, someone else. Um, the chariot reversed is cancer energy. So this is emotional unavailability. Uh, so this person, even if they are seeing someone new, they may not emotionally be ready for it. Um, you know, they, they may be much more closed off because this would indicate they're open, their heart is open, um, they're completely healed, but this is someone who hasn't healed properly or isn't necessarily ready for something. So there's still some residual feelings they may need to deal with to, to help that along. Um, the chariot, uh, it can represent like fond memories and good times, but because this is reversed, it would indicate they're thinking about some sad things that happened between the both of you, or they're thinking about some things that are making them angry. You know, maybe that because it's quite fresh, um, they're in this like they're still thinking about the bad things type thing. But you know, eventually, eventually the sadness and 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 the sweet memories will will come flooding in. It's it's human nature, um, and eventually that missing energy um, will come will will come again. And maybe that's where the offer's coming in um, for some of you with this recent ex. But like I said, the overall energy on the card that, the card that sat in the middle was that Four of Swords. So um, they need space, they need time, or, you know, they're standing by their decision to end things right now. This can be about um, transformation and the ending of things. So um, the ending is still either very fresh in their mind or it's not something they've dealt with entirely. They still need time to dwell about it, to think about it. It's still weighing heavy on their subconscious either way, so... I do hope this reading has been helpful to those that have clicked and watched and hopefully um, there's something here that resonates with you for your distant ex or the recent ex as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. It really does mean a lot and um, hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe um, and don't forget to hit the bell notification um, button next to the subscribe button to get... Um, uh, emails and updates from YouTube for when readings from my channel come for your element or for your sign. Um, otherwise, 
Thank you again for tuning in and until next time, bye for now.